This is why our country is divided. Donald Trump to now investigate a conspiracy theory about COVID coming from a lab in Wuhan. This theory needs to be investigated, which is what President Biden is doing. Hunter Biden's laptop reveals emails. We shouldn't look at it as anything other than a Russian disinformation operation. The Hunter Biden laptop material is genuine. The murder of a police officer, Officer Brian Sicknick, was killed in the line of duty. They beat a Capitol police officer to death. Officer Sicknick died of natural causes. The Steele dossier. It may be dirty, but it ain't fake. Obviously, the Steele dossier is discredited by far, actually. I mean, this is the lunatic response to what is a very rational, evidence-based, fact-based investigation. FBI pleads guilty to doctoring email. What the report shows is something that won't be surprising to people that have spent a lot of time in the federal government. The report left former officials aghast. The FBI is exonerated today. It doesn't vindicate anyone at the FBI who touched this. They are all absolved of any wrongdoing. The activities we found here don't vindicate anybody. The Trump administration clearly peaceful Black Lives Matter protesters so the president could take a photo in front of a church. We did not find evidence that federal agents used CS gas. The D.C. police used the CS gas. Protesters were gassed to clear the way for Trump's photo op. Demonstrators were pushed out to allow contractors to build a fence, a response to damage done during the two previous nights of rioting. Russians offered a bounty for the killing of U.S. soldiers. U.S. intel walks back claim Russians put bounties on American troops. It's because they believe a lie. And this is coming from one news anchor. Could you imagine this all day, every day, just hearing lie after lie after lie? In recent days after President Trump withdrew U.S. troops from Syria, some of the criticism was accompanied by dramatic video on the news. This video right here appearing to show Turkey's military bombing Kurd civilians in a Syrian border town. ABC News aired the video that they claimed showed attacks by Turkish troops on Kurdish civilians telling of slaughter and horrific reports of atrocities. But ABC removed the video and apologized on Monday after online viewers seemed to find the video wasn't shot recently and wasn't even from the Mideast, but from a gun show demonstration in Kentucky in 2017. The ABC video also appeared to have been altered. Shortly after it aired again on Good Morning America, ABC issued a statement saying, We've taken down video that aired on World News Tonight Sunday and Good Morning America this morning that appeared to be from the Syrian border immediately after questions were raised about its accuracy. ABC News regrets the error. But nowhere do they explain what happened. And as critics point out, ABC News reaches millions of people a day. The damage is already done. And not everyone is going to see the correction on Twitter, which is buried deep in their feed. And the sad part is, is that you would think at some point the people would get enough. Like, okay, like, sh you know, lie to me once or fool me once. Shame on me, fool me twice. Shame on you. But like, they just keep fooling you and, and you just keep coming back to the same well. Like, I don't understand unless you like being lied to. Like, it amazes me that till this day, there are people out there that will still see, say, good people on both sides i'm thinking you gotta be lying <laughs> you, you, you lying right are, are you serious right now good people on both sides that you still don't know but this is why there is that divide because you have so many people that only see one side and, and the sad thing is is that it's not even that they go in and do the research a lot of it's just hearsay and and, and i think that that the left understands this that's why they would always bait people with these headlines. But if you get into the article, it was a complete lie. Like I remember um, one guy had posted something about the wall and they were trying to clown President Trump over it. And it was funny because like, I was like, okay, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the article. I click on the article and in the article, it literally says that it was a bad storm and they couldn't hold the wall. Like they couldn't stay there the entire time trying to keep the wall up because it would be there for hours and it hadn't hardened. So they just left. It's all of these people that hated the president had nothing but negative things to say. And they really thought they was winning something. I'm just like, like all of y'all are sharing this article just cause you saw a headline, but I can just tell that none of y'all read it. None of y'all read this. But I truly believe that if we had an honest media, we would find that we, the American people agree on more things than we disagree. But I just wanted to read this to you before I end this video. It's Proverbs 26, verse 20. Without wood, a fire goes out. Without gossip, a quarrel dies down. 
the moment that we get an honest media, I believe that you are going to see a drastic change. You see already where people are starting to dig into the truth. They're actually trying to get the facts themselves and people's minds are changing. We wouldn't have to have the left-wing media now challenging the Biden administration had they been honest in the beginning. Does the president have the stamina, physically and mentally, do you think, to continue on even after 2024? Don, you're asking me this question. Oh, my gosh. He's the president of the United States. You know, it, he, I can't even keep up with it. We just got back from New Mexico. We just got back um, from California. Uh, that is, uh, I, 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 that is not a question that we should be even asking. It's a host of factors. The First being that the approval rating is not where it should be at this point. Um, but also, more importantly, if you look at the polls with regards to the direction of the country, less than a quarter of Americans think that our country is on the right track. But now that it's getting beyond the point to where they can they can cover for it anymore, they're like, listen, we losing ratings, we losing money, we losing people. <laughs> um, are you sure he's good and fit to continue? Now they want to do that. When he was showing these signs way before. <laughs> I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize true and international over depression. My name is Joe Biden. I'm a Democratic candidate for the United States Senate. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the goal. You know the, you know the thing. I have a record of over 40 years and that I'm going to beat Joe Biden. My name is Joe Biden. I'm Jill Biden's husband and I am Kamala's running mate. And um, everything that they have stood for has always been there. That's why President Trump was able to lay out everything that Biden would do if he made it into office. It's not a mystery nor a surprise, but because they have lied and they've put out such a negative view while trying to hide the truth. This is what we have. But um, yeah, if they're not going to be publishing the truth, the actual news and not propaganda, they should be terminated all of them their, their their platforms everything should be brought down to nothing and i pray to god that it be so <laughs> but that's all i'm going to say for today i know that you have been blessed in your hearing remember family today is the day of salvation the year of the lord's favor bride of christ arise mm -hmm.